Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine. Um, a lot of you asked me what I do and you know, you gave me compliments on my perfect skin. I don't have perfect skin and to show you, see, and this could be a lot of like hormones raging in my body because I'm newly pregnant. But, um. So anyway, <laughs> that could very well be the issue there. But anyway, my skincare routine is super easy and super low maintenance, so it'll be a very short video. But I hope it'll be informative to you guys. Um, it's nothing special, nothing crazy. Um, it's just, it's actually a very natural skincare routine. So I don't do very much to my skin. That to say, everyone is different. Um, every skin type is different. So what works for me is not going to work for you. That is a little disclaimer in there. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not any sort of medical professional or skincare professional, whatever. Um, so please don't take my <laughs> word for something that might, it might not work for you, okay? So, just wanted to put that disclaimer in there real quick. But anyway, let's jump in. I'm excited to show you what I do. Alright, so what I like to do first for my skincare routine is to jump in the shower and I actually wash my face in there. I use some coconut oil and what I usually do is just rub that wherever the makeup is. I wear makeup very rarely and if I wear any, it's mostly mascara, so it's most of the time around my eyes. And so after I've rubbed that in and it's taken the makeup and loosened it up, I take a warm white washcloth and I take it all over my face and I just rub it all over where the makeup was and it takes it right off. It's amazing and it makes my skin feel so soft afterwards. Coconut oil is not for everybody and some people's skin react to it, so keep that in mind. But it really works for my skin and it makes it smooth and soft for afterwards. All right, so after I get out of the shower, what I like to do first is to take my ring off. This kind of helps to just get the skin underneath my ring all lathered up with whatever oils and stuff I put on my skin. So the first thing up is this neem oil and aloe vera gel mixture. You can buy it on Azure Standard. Um, I'll link it in the description below. But this stuff is amazing. It hydrates my skin and it makes me feel clean and it also tightens your skin a bit. And so it's just a really nice feel and it helps so many things. It can help relieve acne and redness around your face. I also like to rub this on my underarms, my belly, chest, and other areas of my body. And then I try to lightly dry it with my hands. The next thing I like to use is Witch Hazel. This is a great natural toner for your skin. It also can help um, relieve like oily or irritated, even blemished or inflamed skin. This really does, it can help a lot in many different ways, but I use it mostly just for toning. It helps to tighten your skin and leave your skin feeling fresh and almost new. <laughs> I also like to rub this all over parts of my body, like under my underarms, my belly, my chest, um, and my hands. Now once the witch hazel has dried enough for my skin to have absorbed most of it, then I'm gonna go ahead and take some coconut oil. This is just regular coconut oil. I get it from Azure Standard, and I will also link that in the description below also. But I like to take that and rub it on my hands, and then I will rub that also all over my face, my hands, my underarms, my belly, my chest, and other areas of my body. This really helps me a lot. Coconut oil is one of my favorite skincare products. And I know that a lot of people think that coconut oil isn't good for your skin, but I really think that depends on your skin type. My skin type loves coconut oil. I have a tendency to have dry skin, and so this has helped me a lot. It has helped my face get more moisturized and softer over time. The next thing I like to do is just gently massage my face and anywhere else that I've put coconut oil on it really feels good, especially early in the morning when you first wake up, kind of helps to wake you up. So I really like to do that. And that's pretty much it. My skincare routine, you guys, like I've said, is just very simple and very, very easy to do. Um, I don't do a whole lot to it and my skin, I have been blessed with really easy skin, so I'm very thankful for that. Now just a few healthy habits that I try to keep, that I fail at daily, mind you. Um, one, drinking lots of water. I try to do this very much, and this really does help your skin. 
Another thing is don't use toxic sunscreen. This can cause cancer as much if not more than the sun's rays and getting a bunch of sunburns. Um, a lot of other things can come into contact with your skin like makeup for instance and um, like I said toxic sunscreen so you just really want to be careful with what you put on your skin and read ingredients so you know what's going on your body. That will help you take care of your skin and be better and healthier. The other last thing that I do is I do put deodorant on every morning um, and I try to use a non-toxic brand. This is from Walmart and I will also link them. All right guys, that was it. That's my skincare routine. Very simple, very low maintenance, like I said before. Um, not a lot involved in what I do to my skin. Um, now what I kind of showed you was mainly just my face, my hands, and I did mention that I rub, I try to rub all those things that I rub on my face, on like my armpits and my chest and my belly, especially now that I'm pregnant. Um, and so anyway, I tried to do that on those three areas also. But um, as far as my legs go, um, I don't do a whole lot of skincare on them. I probably should. I should probably exfoliate more often, which would include like a sugar scrub, a salt scrub, or a coffee scrub. Um, I just don't. I really should. <laughs> when I shave my legs, I only use like a cast style soap, just cast style soap and water. Um, and then I use a razor. That's it. Um, I occasionally will put coconut oil and I'll lather my legs up because that helps with, I have a dry skin, my skin tends to be more dry and so I do have that going on. But, um, so a lot of coconut oil on my skin, my skin reacts to coconut oil like it loves it, it drinks it in, it like soaks it all up. So I'm a very big coconut girl. So I will also, just so you know, I will link all of the products that I used in this video in the description down below. And so go click on those. Um, and so check those out if you'd like, but yeah, so, um, that's really all I do. I'm trying to think of like anything else that I do skincare wise, but that's it. Um, my, all my products are natural. Um, I don't like to use things with a lot of chemicals in them. If any chemicals at all. Um, the only thing that I might have a chemical in is the deodorant and I'm looking to find a more healthy, beneficial, um, fragrance free or naturally fragrant um, deodorant but I haven't found one yet so I'm still on the lookout because my skin reacts to baking soda and I cannot, cannot use baking soda on my skin. Literally flares up like never before. I also wanted to mention um, my hands. So right now they're really done well, but I have contact dermatitis. I've never been diagnosed, but I've done research, read all about it, and I'm pretty sure I have it. Contact dermatitis, look it up, you can figure out all the definitions for it, but essentially it's your hands get, um, or certain types of skin, whichever is affected. Um, if you use hot water, soap, um, other things on it, they get dried out really easily or it can dry your skin really easily in some patches and so I get super bad contact dermatitis where literally I'll get cracks in my skin just from like washing the dishes and um, scrubbing clothes or whatever so anything that has like soap or that dries your skin out or that may just slightly dry your skin out my hands react to it severely so I'll get super cracked, dry skin, bloody, um, and then I'll get like a staph infection on them. So I have to be so careful what I do on my hands. I wear gloves um, when I do dishes or anything like that. Um, and my hands don't react to like body soaps or anything like that, but it's like just soap, things that are hard on your skin. Anyway, I just thought I should mention that because it is part of my skin. Um, one other thing, my scalp. So. Um, I'm not going to talk about my scalp today because that kind of includes more of a hair care routine. So if you are interested in a hair care routine, please comment in the description or the comment section down below and let me know if you're if you're interested in a video like that. So anyway, I hope you this was informative. It's cold outside. I better go inside. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one.